Hello and welcome back to Tinglewinger 5. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the RAM inside your NAS. So this is the QNAP NAS TS251, you've seen it in my previous video, and if not click the annotation on your screen now. First thing you've got to do is remove the screws from the outside. Uh, I also recommend take the hard drives out but I'm going to do that second. So there's two screws on the back and then all of a sudden we're able to open the actual case. So if you look at the bottom here we have an arrow pointing to a lock. But what we need to do first is take out the actual drives. So if, like me, you've set your NAS up already, what we need to do is take them out and remember which side they go in. So you'll notice here that I'm going to put one on the left and one on the right. And then I'll move them upwards so we can get on with the video. The NAS will now slide down and the rest of the case will come up and reveal the hard drive caddy inside as well as all its internals. And lots of you will notice it's actually essentially a laptop inside. So let's move everything up and we can start taking apart the actual assembly. So if we unscrew everything going around the outside, we then move on to the more internal screws towards the middle. And there is also one screw on the back which we need to pay particular attention to because that one is what's holding in the assembly at the moment. So if we remove the screw from the back here, which is the tricky one to get rid of, we're actually able to remove the drive assembly after we remove this one. When the drive bay is ready to be removed, simply lift it out. It's just connected to a PCI Express connector on the mainboard. And this reveals all the internals. So we can see the CPU in the middle here. We have the PCI Express connector at the top and at the left. And at the bottom, we have the RAM. So the current RAM inside, I tried Googling for, but I couldn't really find it. So the RAM I'm going to put inside is actually some crucial CT51264BF160B which is just DDR3 RAM non-ECC 1.35 volts. To remove the RAM, simply pull the two pins on the right-hand side and left-hand side apart, and then we're able to lift the RAM out. And to put it back in, make sure you line the key on the RAM up with the key in the slot, and you put it in at an angle, and then move it down. Do not force it, you will break the RAM or you'll break the pins. Either one you don't want to do. Now this one was much trickier because of this assembly above it. So make sure the RAM is all the way up. It was actually touching the assembly here, and then you're able to push it down very gently and then push it right the way down on its back. At this point, we're done. We've just upgraded the RAM from two gig to eight gig in this case. I'm reliably informed that this works for both the four bay NAS and the two bay NAS. It'll be a very similar process. And all we have to do now is put everything back together, which is just a whole load of screws around the outside and the inside. When everything is all back together, make sure you get the drives the right way around if you've already set it up. If you haven't set it up already, then everything will be fine no matter which way around. So you noticed earlier I put one on the left, one on the right, just so I remember which way around they go. I would also recommend putting a number on either side, just so you remember which one they go in. I had absolutely no issues during boot up, the NAST accepted it straight away. And if we go into this area, we're able to see on the resource monitor, we're already at 27% RAM from about 90%. And if we go into the system settings, we can see all 8 gig is detected. So thank you for watching, everybody. I hope this has been useful for you. Make sure you follow me on all the relevant social media.